will never join the likes of you, Bowser. Yeah? We've got something from corporate. Corporate? Bring it in. Now you know what to do with things from corporate. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> that was a new Lego set. Oh, never mind. Get it. Corporate, send us a Lego set. And in this case, uh, corporate is, is Lego, the corporation. They sent us a Lego set. It's kind of a big deal when they do this. Um, I wish Emily had let me know before I threw it. I just found this note in the Lego set box, and it says that corporate wants us to build this set. Let's do it. Ooh, check it out. Push tabs. Push tabs. Oh, my finger. People say that I'm the best boss. I do everything around here. I film all the videos. I edit them all. I build all the Lego sets, I review them all. Um, well, I guess technically Emily does all of that, but I manage her. So in a way, I do everything around here. Dump the box. Dump the box. Whoa! All right, y'all, enough of that nonsense, but if you did enjoy any aspect of that, please do consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Anyways, Lego Ideas The Office. It's a reality. I still can't believe it. My brain is just exploding right now. That's what she said. Because this went through the Lego Ideas program, I think two or three times before finally being accepted. I love The Office, so having this in Lego form is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I'm so excited. So just for some quick set information for you guys, this is set number 21336. It has 1,164 pieces. There's 15 minifigures in total. It'll be retailing for 120 US dollars, 180 Australian, 105 pounds in the UK, and then 150 Canadian. Too expensive. And if we're comparing this set here to other recent Lego sets, or even just other sitcom sets, I feel like the 120 price tag on this is very fair, especially since there's 15 minifigures and given the recent increase in most Lego set pricing. Plus, 10 cents per piece on this y'all that's pretty standard now all of that being said full disclosure y'all this set here was sent to me from lego so thank you so much to them i really appreciate that i love the office so building this was like a surreal experience for me all right so let's do a quick little set overview on this one before we get into all the details and the minifigures so this is a sitcom lego set and it's not the first sitcom that we've seen before there's been like central perk the friends apartments seinfeld's been one of them but something to note with all of the different sitcom Lego sets is that it's really hard to display them. Like it's just very flat. It's hard to see inside. So if you do want it on like a Billy bookcase, for example, it just might look a little bit awkward there. Also something to note about this set is that it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. That's what she said. But the layout actually makes a lot of sense. So we get the entry hallway leading into the reception area. You get Jim and Dwight's desk. And then further back, we have Stanley, Phyllis, and then Andy's desk. And even though Andy isn't included in this set, deep in my heart, that's still Andy's desk. So in the main area of the office, there's room for six minifigures really, excluding like the gray couches in the front, but like I just never really see them sitting there in the show, so it doesn't make as much sense to me. But then there's an additional six seats in the conference room with enough room at the front for like one or two minifigures to stand up to give a presentation. And then of course, Michael's office with him sitting behind his desk. And then there's three other chairs, but I just prefer to leave him blank. I just think his office looks best with just him in it. Also, as you might've guessed, there's so many references in this set. A lot of them are kind of hidden away in the desk drawers though. Dwight's throwing stars, for example. There's also a sword. Stanley has some money. And then Michael has the script or screenplay to Threat Level Midnight, which is just fantastic. So yeah, there's so many references in this. And the way that I placed my minifigures in this set is I put everyone behind like their own desk. And then anyone who doesn't have a desk, I put them in the conference room or just kind of walking around the office just to make it more lively. But speaking of minifigures, let's take a closer look at all of them. There's 15 in total, which is a lot. It's too many, but also not enough at the same time. That's what she said. There aren't enough desks, but the conference room kind of makes up for that. We are missing Andy and Aaron though, as well as some others, but those are the main ones that I think really should have made the cut. There's also a hole in the wall in the set where Andy punched a hole in it in one of the episodes. So it's kind of weird to have that hole in the wall, but not Andy included. Here we have Dwight Schrute. He is probably my favorite character from The Office. He's just so quirky and different. He is shown in his classic brown suit with the mustard shirt and then when we take off his hair you can see that he actually has an alternate face printing where he looks a lot more smug. He comes with a lot of different accessories from the throwing stars to the sword but here's one of his shrewd bucks. So now let's talk about Kevin. He's shown in his classic business attire and then as for an alternate face printing 
He has none just because you would be able to see it pretty easily in the back. But then for his accessory, he has his chili, which he of course spills like it was a whole thing. So I love that they went with that accessory for him. Next, we have Phyllis Vans in a bright pink top with a red scarf. And I believe there's a necklace on her as well, which looks really nice. For her accessories, she has some red yarn because she's of course knitting Michael a red oven mitt, but he really hates it. It was in one of the Christmas episodes. And Phyllis also has an alternate face printing where she looks pretty happy. Next up, we have Angela Martin. And I love, love, love the torso printing that she has here. It has her cat bandit. I believe this is bandit. I, I'm pretty sure, please correct me, but I'm pretty sure this cat is bandit. And it's printed on her torso, which I just love. And she has you know, the high neck collar with a little tie in the front, just like very classic Angela. And then as for an alternate face printing on her, we actually get her just looking happy, which is kind of a surprise. You don't really see that too often. Now to finish off the accounting department, here we have Oscar. He's depicted with a bright purple shirt with a purple tie. And then as for an alternate face printing, we have him looking pretty bummed out, I guess. Oh, and his accessory is the calculator because accounting. So now for the first half of the most toxic relationship throughout all the show, here we have Kelly. I, I really like the outfit she's wearing. It really doesn't scream Kelly to me, but you know, I, I still think it is fitting. And then her accessory is happy B-Day Kelly. And then when we flip her over, we have a very happy face burning. Now for the second half of this really toxic relationship, here we have Ryan. And you know, I actually really like Ryan, but what I like even more is that they included two different face printings for him. So here in the front, he's just in his classic, you know, like blue business attire. He has a cell phone, hashtag woof. He's always doing like scummy business deals. But then when we turn him around, you can see that alternate face printing. So it's kind of nice that we get like early in the show, Ryan as well as later in the show, Ryan. Now for Stanley, I just love his attitude throughout the whole show and he just like, you know, does not care. It's fantastic. But yeah, here he is. He has the mustache, kind of grumpy face printing, which, you know, totally makes sense. Gray suit. His accessory is of course the pretzel because he loves pretzel day, as well as the crossword puzzle. And then as for an alternate face printing, he's just, you know, kind of curious looking here. Some serious eyebrow action going on. Now here we have Creed Bratton. Blue suit, some wrinkles showing. And then when we turn him around, there is no extra face printing. And honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what his accessory is here. It's just like, oh gosh. It's just a green stud with a yellow stud on top and I can't figure it out. Please help me. So next up we have Daryl from the warehouse and I love the printed torso on him, but honestly, it's kind of a bummer that this is the only one that we get in this set. Like how cool would it be to be able to build your own, you know, army of warehouse workers for this? So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Like maybe it'll show up on like pick a brick online or something like that. But yeah, so anyways, his accessory is the Terry's Diner takeout menu. And then his alternate face printing is nothing. <laughs> so next we have Meredith Palmer. She is such a weirdo, but I also love her. I'm pretty sure that this face printing has been used before, but it actually works really well for her. She's always just kind of grimacing like that. And then on her torso printing, it's like this nice kind of holiday sweater looking shirt. So I really like that. Her accessories are this bat because of course, you know, she got bit by a bat, she got rabies, it was a whole thing. And then like Michael Scott had to have a fun run for the cure, but you know, none of the money actually went anywhere because yeah, it's Michael. Uh, but yeah, and then her other accessory is coffee. And then for her alternate face printing, she looks amused. Now here we have Toby Flunderson. He is just like an endearing character. He's like the only normal person there. This is probably my least favorite minifigure out of all of them, just cause it doesn't really look like Toby to me. I feel like the face printing could have been different or even like the hair isn't really perfect for him. Maybe I'm just being crazy, but I just feel like it doesn't really look like him that much. But anyways, his accessory is the camera. And then for an alternate face printing, he looks pretty bummed out, probably because Michael keeps bullying him. Now the icon, the legend, Michael Scott. I think they did a really good job with this one. I love the face printing. He just looks so goofy and dumb, but also just like, you know, perfect for Michael Scott. Like just, he looks so happy all the time, but he's just saying nonsense. He has the blue suit, the world's best boss mug. And then for his alternate face printing, he looks pretty upset. So now we have Mr. Jim Halpert with his engagement ring. I think this one turned out really well. Like it's kind of simple, you know, the face printing doesn't really have much going on there, but I love that it's kind of his classic smirk that he does throughout the whole show when he looks at the camera. It's just good, I like it. And his accessory is the engagement ring that he's gonna later give to Pam. And then the alternate face printing for him is him just looking kind of bummed out. And finally, our 15th minifigure in the set is Miss Pam Beasley. 
Her outfit's perfect. She has the white shoes on because of course she won the Dundee for whitest sneaker award. She has the pink cardigan on with the white button up shirt, a business skirt, and then her accessory, it's that green teapot that Jim gives her during one of the Christmas parties. But then looking at her alternate face printing, she looks pretty worried. So now for the last and apparently the least, here we have Andy. Okay y'all, moving on to play features now. I know you probably didn't think there were any, but guess what? You were wrong. Michael's office actually slides out. So it sits flush normally, but you can kind of just slide it out of there. There's like hinges on either side to keep it in place. That's what she said. And so it's kind of nice having that option to like display it either separate or as part of the set. And also like you can't really see inside Michael's office if it is kind of closed up like that. So if you have it on a shelf, I feel like something like that would look a little bit better or maybe even like that. I don't know. I'll have to play with it, but it's nice having options. Another play feature, I feel like it's not really a play feature, but it kind of is because that's how I'm going to play with it, is memes. There are so many memeing possibilities in this set, and one of my favorites actually is the one where Jim's kind of peeping through the blinds, just kind of like staring off and smiling, and there's a lot of stickers in here that represent the blinds, but something the Lego designers did is made sure that there was like a hole just at eye level so that Jim can peep through the blinds to recreate that meme. And I lost my mind when I tried it for the first time. That's what she said. It's a little things like that, honestly, that just make this set so much fun. I don't know if it was on purpose, but I'm happy that it exists. Now we have to talk about stickers in the set because there are so many stickers. We have two sticker sheets. This one goes up to 43, this one goes up to 53, but there's like also a lot of duplicates. So it's somewhere in the 70s, I would say. Honestly, my alternate title to this video was Death by Sticker because it's like a two man job. That's what she said. To build this. One, to actually build the set, and then the other person just doing stickers. And honestly, the timing works out perfectly. And that's what me and my husband did actually when we were building it. I built the set, he just did stickers, and somehow like we both did an equal amount of work with the timing. That's what she said. All I'm trying to say right now, there's a lot of stickers in this set, so just be warned. And not only are there a bunch of stickers just like placed throughout the set, but there's also extra pieces with extra stickers with additional references on them, which honestly is pretty cool. Like I actually really like that they did that. I just don't know where to put them now. So if anyone has any ideas on like how to store them in the set, like please let me know. It is really fun though, kind of switching them out because like on the TV, for example, we have like the DVD logo when it kind of bounces around the screen, but then there's also like, Dwight and Michael when they're singing that like Scranton song, the rap. Oh gosh, I'll play a clip, but that was just so funny. Electric City, Scranton, what? The Electric City. But one major issue I do want to bring up, and just so you guys don't like comment on it in the video thinking that I missed something, in Michael's office, there's a sticker missing. It's the one on the back wall with like the American Eagle with like the flag in front of it. And unfortunately, our sticker sheet arrived pretty bent up. Like it was bad. There were stickers kind of like hanging half off, but our American Eagle one just like wasn't included at all. So if Lego wants to send us another sticker sheet so we can like finish our set, that would be really cool. But I'll be contacting customer service like once the set does release, just so I can get my little American Eagle sticker on here because it's kind of bothering me. I just wanted to make sure to mention it in the video because I know someone's going to be like, you missed a sticker. You missed it. So I know. Don't worry. You don't need to tell me. Overall, this set is just packed full of references and details from the office, which makes me so happy as an office fan. Like, even though the set was death by sticker, and I still stand by that. The memes and all the references on the stickers somehow made me hate stickers less. And that's saying a lot because I really don't like stickers. So all of this being said, y'all, I would love to hear your thoughts on this set as well. Whether you're an office fan, whether you've never seen The Office, like what do you think about this set? Is this something you're planning on picking up? Are there things you wish were different? And also what additional area of The Office would you most want to see next if LEGO were to make another office set? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And also if you are brand new to this channel or just a long time lurker, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me out. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Thank you so much again to LEGO for sending this for review and I'll see you next time.